Warning. This game is rated M for Mature. This game involves acts of a violent nature, sensitive topics around sexual themes, and a very annoying talking bear. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, I ended that last episode really suddenly. Uh, because I accidentally hit the button. Uh, hey, welcome back everyone. So, we got a few things that we're doing today. Classroom lo Lesson 7? Wait a second. Oh my gosh. Um, probably tomorrow. Because all we're doing is hanging out with... Uh, do we have a day coming up that is... That we are not doing any social link stuff? Um, we are spending time with Sun, and we're doing Tower then. Uh, the last day to save Nana, um, Naoto is probably the day we're going to do it. So probably on like the 5th, on the 4th, 5th, 6th, somewhere around there. Okay. Um, again, there's no reason to like farm for money. There's no reason to do all that. The only reason is to go back into the dungeon and get like an additional like 200... Uh, to get like an additional two hundred thousand, so I can just like make all of the uh, all the personas before I go into the dungeon. But I kind of don't want to do that. <laughs> hey, what's up? Harvest season's coming up. My parents are gonna need my help again. That sucks. I don't want to do this for the rest of my life. I'm going with the college. Going with the college sounds better every day. Where am I gonna get something like that? Get what? Well, my dad's been pretty down ever since he shut down his plastic model shop. Oh, that's your dad. Huh. Neat. I was wondering what I could do, then I thought maybe I could just round up like all the regular kids who used to go here, but then they said they wouldn't come to see him unless they gave them badges. I was gonna give them the ones from Shurikus, but like, they don't have those, but I don't know where's the luck. Yeah, sure, leave it to me. Really? Well... These kids said that they want proof of passions. Uh, there was like three kids in all, so I guess you'll need three. Yeah, sorry, I'll just leave it to you. Hey, have those in my pocket. Oh yeah, that that's them. How did you ever come across these? Eh. Let's not uh, ask too many questions. <laughs> Thank you so much. I wonder if these will make my dad happy. Sorry for dragging you through these. Through this. I wonder if I read that wrong. <laughs> I know I've been relying on you a lot lately, so um, this is for you. My mom wanted me to thank you f for her, so it's a bead. Okay, I think that's also the last uh mission from her. Hey, that's the Zweihander. Heard its hilt is longer than normal, so that makes it uh easier to wield. What the heck? What do you even mean by that? No, no, it's not. Exchange the Zweihander, uh, sure. The cheering flag. Okay. Oh, that's the f that's the photon plate. Yeah, sure, I'll factory sign. The Yashima. Sure. The feather dagger. The thunder plate. For the feather shield. Okay. Not that one. Uh, let's actually see how many of those are actually better. Because <laughs> I have absolutely no doubt in my mind that this thing is not going to be better. Like, the metal bat does a lot of damage. But, like, the Gaia Sword is obviously going to be the best thing that I have. Plus stop sign. Cheering flag. Plus one endurance. That's... That's lame. That's like half the attack. What the heck, dude? Um, Yosuke. Uh, Feather Dagger. Only for Feather Owl. Wait a second. Oh, right. This is a cheer... F uh, this is a cheer squat. Um, 
cheer squat squat squad flag uh, i don't think i have any feather items i don't think i have the feather sword um feather dagger is used by feather owl its slashes are too fast to be seen by the naked eye Ooh. um so up 25 points nearly perfect hit rank but bone still has critical rate up high <laughs> So unless there's a way to like get grilled corn. Um so unless there's a way for me to like wield this without, you know, like uh just using this cosmetically, uh I'm probably not gonna equip it because the bone is still better. Um Chie also got something. Uh inline skates? Was it inline skates? I don't think it was. Either way, the things that she's wearing are still better. Yeah, Enervate. Uh, Kanji, you have the Death Scudo on. Uh, actually, you have two. I'm going to quickly sell one of those. Uh, and I was just given the Feather Shield, which increases electric damage? Is there another one that's like that? Oh, no, just the one that reduces fire damage. Increases his electrical damage. Used by Feather Falcon. Perfect union of offense and defense. Mixes melee to hit. Like nearly perfect. And it slashes his physical attack. His base physical attack. By essentially. Um, by like a hundred. But again. It increases his electrical attack. By one fourth. <laughs> I'm gonna think on that because that actually looks pretty useful. Either way, I'm gonna um, go do a few things uh, really quickly and then I'll be right back. So I just realized that I might actually come back here and uh, buy out like all of the items just to have like one of each of them. I mean, I have enough money right now and I'm not planning on spending anything like anything really like high amounts of money for until I reach the dungeon and I already have like all the uh good items but I, what I might do is I might actually just buy out like all of the weapons and armor so I have at least one of them and then talk to that kid again see if he drops anything else and then come back and let you know what else of uh, what he gave me you know so it's like i just buy the things he that he um wants and so i don't have like too many things that are like ext extraneous that's that's a word so uh, i think we have another yep there it is where is not where to be found Something is written in a violent handwriting. My list. The hated. People who are all talk. The lying grown-ups. Keeping up appearances. Hypocrites. Myself. I hate myself. Dumbass. The light. Animals. Only cute ones, though. Like cats. Milk tea. I like lemon too, though. Black, blue, gray too. Only dark gray. And me. So I was taking a drink of uh, something. Uh, this must be another one of Marie's poems. What is this? I told you not to read these. Why are you? Why do you keep reading them? Are you stupid or something? It's just a note. Do you understand? I, it's just a note. You can see Margaret's eyes. You can see her eyes narrow, but only for a moment. You're at the top of my list now. Just please stop reading these. Marie returns to her seat. 
Uh, hey Margaret, how you doing? Right, we're gonna be doing that at some point. Not right now. And we definitely don't need to do it right now because, like, we need a lot of money to be able to do these. And unless... Um, I could have been, like... You know, I could have, like, seen into the future and, like, have, like, a whole list of these and, like, be like, oh, this character shows up in the dungeon. I might as well just throw one of the cards onto this and, like, make it done. But, like, I kind of didn't want to do that because I'm waiting for effectively the the boss, the final boss, to be over. Because there's the final boss, there is the Persona 4 Golden content in which it goes further than what it was originally in the original game. It does a bunch of, like, side stuff. And when we hit that side stuff, uh, it's gonna be, like, summer, it's gonna be winter break going into early spring. And so we're gonna have a lot of time to ourselves without, like, any of the school friends. All of our persona, all of our social links are gonna be done because they were, you know, designed to be done before the end of the before the end of the original game. And so we're going to have a lot of time to just go through dungeons, grind a lot, get a bunch of money, and then just fuse the personas that we need. So, you know, stuff like that. Uh, let me just double check. So, Koryu is... Look at that guy. I think he's one of the better electric type users also comes with like several healing stuff and he comes with the uh the card for Sarmakar, which is pretty good uh uses a bunch of temperance stuff to make hero font which i find is really funny um hey that's weird i guess uh, Sorosha is a is a three. It's nothing from what I have, but you'll notice that I actually have two slots, and that's because I got rid of um. I got rid of. What is it? I got rid of Justice and I got rid of Hierophant. So I can grab Emperor and Hanged Man. That's what it is. Uh, Compendium. Emperor. Uh, lowest ranking Emperor. Is Oberon? That feels weird. <laughs> Especially in Persona 5 where it's like uh, Oberon and Titania were like endgame bosses in, uh, in Mementos, you know? Uh... It's always it's always a really interesting to see like which personas are like really low on the list. You you know for a fact Pixie is going to be like one of the first personas that you run into like all like at all times. But like sometimes when you like encounter Mott at like level like 20 you go like, "What?" <laughs> uh one of my favorite one is a uh, Succubus being level 20 in uh, Persona 5, and then Incubus being like level like 40. No, Incubus was like level 5, Succubus was level 20. And then like... And then Ukabak was like also down there. But then like Lilium was like level like 40. Like, it, it's, it's a weird time sometimes. Hanged man. Barrett. Okay. Yep, there you go. So that's uh so that's all of the other personas that we needed. Don't really need too many else. Just just double checking. Um Uh, my my capture recording froze again. Oh well. Uh, at least I know for a fact that I am not paused, <laughs> which is like one of the which is one of the reasons why I like stop recording and then like try to like 
get Streamlabs back up to normal because like like whenever that happens like I'm like desperately trying to like I'm trying to bring back the stuff because I don't know if I'm muted or not okay so today of all days is the day that we finish up Hermit so like three days in a row we're actually finishing off uh, social links which is pretty nice you know This shrines me building. I'm gonna call the fox. Make sure no one's around. Hey fox, what's up? Your expression is enthralling, so you understand the fox's feelings. That would have been great if like dialogue came out in like a box that's just like scared. Excited, <laughs> you know, it'd be like really funny of like a very meta of like you understand the creature's inner thoughts It seems the fox is worried about the offertory box It's empty What happened to all the offerings collected by the fox? All right out of my way a construction crew came by and began working The offertory box and Tori are now made of glittering gold. Huh? It seems the money the fox was saving up was used to make the shrine look nicer, I guess. God, you helped my friend when he needed you. Please grant my wish too. I brought some of my allowance. The child threw in an offering. Oh, is this going to just be everyone that we helped? Oh God, grant of our wishes. Please hear mine. I'll give as I'll give you as much as you would like. A lady threw in a large offering. Oh, my nose is clogged right now. Eh. Seems those who have heard of the blessing bestowed on the shrine have come to pay their respects. At this rate, the offertory box will be full in no time. The fox looks exuberant. Fox went and picked up an Emma in its mouth. The gratitude Emma. The Emma has the fox's footprints all over it. Seems to be a token of the fox's gratitude. You feel an indescribable bond between you and the fox. Yeah! You can, uh, bestowing upon you the ability to create Oni... Onyoki? Ongyoki. Can we now get healed for free? Uh, but the fox will discount the price of its services inside the TV. Fox is radiating vigor. It will probably continue its work to revive the shrine. But it's getting late, so you say goodbye to the fox, who looks somber, and you went home. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure... Welcome back. There is a... Oh no, I think it's I think it's when you were leaving. I think it's when you're leaving and you have a go around of all the characters and you go like, "Hey, you're one of my level level 10 um you're my rank 10 people that I hang out with." Uh hey, and they're like, "Hey, it's like, how are you doing?" It's like, "Well, this is a follow-up to my story." It's like, "Oh, cool. I haven't talked to you in a while." It's going really nice to hear. I was like stuff like that, you know. I think um, there's one final aspect about the fox that we haven't discussed yet, and I think that gets brought up when we go meet the fox, when we are doing that thing, you know? Livery on the table, uh, present, it's Amrita Soda. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go turn in the prize stickers really quickly.
Not sure if I'm going to cut this uh, audio or not. I don't think I will be, but... Man, look at look at how they're shiny. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna pray uh, in the middle of the night. That's okay. Uh mailbox. Rare combo. How many do I have left? Because I think it's I think tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be getting one more. Uh, and that's going to be the one more that we need for one more item. Okay. Okay, so one of the things that's been kind of swimming around my head this whole time that I've been playing this game is... Is when we get to the end of the game content. So sometime around, like, how many days do we have left? Uh, four days? Okay. So it should be on the day that, like, the you know, the final day that Naoto... It should be the day after Nato comes back that uh, we're able to do that. Okay. Uh, so, today's an interesting day. Today, after we've finished three social links all the way, we get to start one. <laughs> because the tower social link always, always... Okay. Always spent takes so long for it to come about. Work as a janitor job on Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I thought I'd take the bus to uh to where it is, but I guess not. Wait. Several job listings. Uh see others. You already accepted that one. Tutor. There it is. Uh it requires higher understanding. Work days at Tuesdays, Thursdays, and at night. Yeah, so it turns out that I just forgot to grab that one at some point. Because I believe I... Yeah, I've taken all the jobs. I was like, hey, that's weird. Like, the tutor... I was like, I'm supposed to do the tutor job to do tower. But there just wasn't anything... Anything coming up, you know, for the bus, for the bus trip. Tutoring, there we go. So it works as a tutor today. I'm Shu Nakajima. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, but he's a just a shy boy. He's smart, you know. He's got the highest score in the class on his last test, and the teacher. Mom. Enough of that. We're going to study now, so get out. Oh, of course, dear. I don't want to bother you while you're learning. Still, Ankun, was it? I hear Yasugami's high scores are climbing up there. She was already in a second year of middle school, so we needed to start thinking about applying to high schools. Well, knowing him, I'm not worried about him getting to a good school, but when it's time for college? Mom, that's enough, I said. Oh my. Well, I guess you're right. Well then, Ankun, please uh, make sure to teach him well. Study hard, Shuchan, okay? Hmm... I guess we've got to pull something up. Uh, man, it's always the uh, the first day of a new social link. They go like, oh, cool, we're doing a new one. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> forgot to pull up my notes. Um, Alan San, right? Let me tell you up front, I have no intention of attending Yasugami High. The cram school I was going to wasn't that good, so I decided I needed to switch to private tutoring. You're the only one available, so... Thanks for accepting this at the last moment, I guess. If I think you're inadequate, I'll have you replaced immediately, remember that?
I kind of want to say this. I kind of want to say this. Like, just be right up front with him. It's like, hey. Hey, just so you know. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I have the best test scores in the entire school. No. Of course I'm concerned. I'd rather not waste time introducing myself to a stream of um, prospective tutors. Then, what should we start with? I don't have any subjects I'm particularly bad at. You feel confident that you should teach him? Uh, he's too nerdy to not understand math. Uh, he has too many books to not be interested in a foreign language. I think I see, uh, I think I actually see, uh, for a second I thought I saw Korean and Chinese, uh, on there, but I think it's just, uh, the blurry pixels changing me. So I'm gonna teach you physical education. Mm. That's n not funny. Shu fixes you with an icy clear, but you ignore it. Your diligence has increased. You tutored Shu. He grasps concept quickly, and he answers the problems that you have for him in no time at all. You worked hard explaining the subject to him in an easy to understand manner. How? How is this nerdy kid taking notes about PE of all things? Expression of knowledge has increased. Ooh, I maxed out knowledge. We'll continue this next time, okay? You're a good tutor. It was easy for me to understand what you were talking about. I'm sure my natural intelligence had something to do with that as well, of course. Well, you're more than welcome to come again whenever you have the time. I'll keep working at my own pace, so, uh, come teach me again? You were accepted as a new tutor. You have become acquaintances with Shu Nakijima, the snooty tutoring pupil. You feel a faint bond forming between you and Shu. I'm guessing I have to be just a belligerent jerk to this kid to to make him rank up, and that's hilarious. Okay, everyone. So we have reached the tower. The tower is, as I have said, um, one of the other, like, is the uh, companion to death as a uh, card. Uh, the, while death is more of like the metaphysical idea of death, of the idea of I was who I was, but now I am who I am, and I have transitioned from being the old into the new. You know, it's sort of like it's sort of like a bug going through a metamorphosis from caterpillar into butterfly. You know? You have this moment where the cocoon is lying there, and that is representative of death as a uh, as the card. But in reality, like when you become when the butterfly becomes what it is, it has a very shortened lifespan like it spent all that time as a caterpillar gaining up all of this uh, like all this energy to go into its chrysalis state and then just become a butterfly for like I think like three no it's the damselfly that does that where it's like the damselfly has like goes to its larva stage becomes the damselfly exists for like two or three days because when it metamorphosizes it does not have a mouth it is just in it is just a becomes a form for breeding purposes alone and then immediately dies two days later like effectively the uh to go it in this sort of like weird abstract way the caterpillar is the caterpillar is fool. The cocoon. I almost called it the metapod. Um, the cocoon 
is Hanged Man. The discarded cocoon is Death. And the and the after effects, this new creature is Tower. You may think it's like a really weird way of putting it, but like when when the tower in like its upright form is sun change, upheaval, chaos, revelation, and awakening, and its reverse form is personal transformation, fear of change, averting danger. You know, it's like it has this sort of like it has this sort of energy to it that the idea a lot of the ideas behind it is that the tower is effectively you are dreading what is about to happen. Um, a lot of the tower, a lot of the uh, tower characters are young kids being pushed to be adults way too soon. Basically, they are coming to terms with their own mortality way too soon in life, and they are dreading the end, you know? In its most positive form, the Tower card is your opportunity to break free of your old ways of thinking that have been holding you back. You may see cracks forming and take action before the whole structure comes tumbling down as depicted on the card. Yeah. Meanwhile, Reverse Tower um, is more about like, you know, a sense of forewarning about those sort of things. So, in a way, Tower is kind of a, is a card that is mostly about not the finale, because, uh, because World is actually the card about finales, and we're going to get to World as a concept, but as a, as a card, Tower is basically as close to a card that says you will die you know, without actually re going into the Minor Arcana, in which I believe that's Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords, I believe, is literally, you will die in your sleep. <laughs> so, you know, besides that. Goodbye. Yeah, bye, Shu. See you guys tomorrow. You earned 10,000 yen from the tutoring job? Hold up. We just made $100 in one night. I feel good about that. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. There's links down below to several things, including live streams I do occasionally. Uh, probably a lot more occasionally at this point. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, while you're down there, you could also leave a like and comment about like uh, how you feel about certain things, including how you feel about uh, anything that's currently going on in the story so far. Anything. L let me know down below. I always like hearing other others opinions see you guys see you guys tomorrow